Amy Star, New World News Network. So, I came across checking my news, or uh, checking my email. You know, you get some headlines. And for days, I kept seeing this thing about this guy, Nas, Nastases, Le, Le, who knows? This guy, Serena Williams, responds to this guy's racist comments and i mean this really this should really be like serena williams civil rights hero or like serena williams de- fights racism the, 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 through its perils and pregnancy like because she's pregnant and i mean i had to go through multiple articles to even find the quote of what this guy said there were so many articles just talking about how powerful she is and how she stands in the face of all of the evils of the world and the racists everywhere wondering about her her child and its future and its pigment And how challenging, I mean, it's like you have picking cotton, being sprayed with a fire hose for not drinking out of the right fountain, and then there's this. So, let's get into it. Serena Williams has responded to that guy's comments about her unborn child. He speculated on the skin color of Williams' unborn child, reports the AP. And what he said is, uh, oh, it's it's later on here. So first he says, I want to know what word I used is racist. He asked the Associated Press by phone on Monday from Budapest, Hungary. So he isn't even aware of what he said. Um, and I'll tell you what, in comparison to her response, I wouldn't know what I said either because she makes it sound like he said some shit. Um, the Romanian captain who was suspended from the Fed Cup for abusing the British team and the referee in playoff was heard speculating whether William's child would be chocolate with milk per the BBC. Um, was heard speculating. So, I mean, this is hearsay. This isn't even like, you got a quote from him. This is like someone overheard something. Williams weighs in on Instagram and said, It disappoints me to know we live in a society where people like him can make such racist comments towards myself and my unborn child and sexist comments against my peers. I have said it once and I'll say it again. This world has become so far, but yet we have so much further to go. Yes, we have broken down so many barriers. However, there are a plethora more to go. This or anything else will not stop me from pouring love, light, and positivity into everything I do. And will continue to take a lead and stand up for what is right. Williams, who is pregnant with her first child, thanked the Tennis Federation for launching an investigation into the comments. Do you see this shit is real? This shit is serious. So fucking serious. Do you see this? We are fucking pouring love, light, and positivity into this shit. Chocolate with milk. Chocolate with milk. I mean, I I just, like... (sighs) The, the response to this hearsay remark that now they're investigating as if he, I mean, as if he was like, oh, what is that little nigger baby going to be shit brown? Like, I mean, there's nothing derogatory. There's nothing racist. He's just saying, you know, I, I mean, you see, I see black people referring to themselves as chocolate, dark chocolate, sexual chocolate all the time. All the time. And that's the thing. These social justice warriors 
get into this weird thing where they'll say, oh, well, if you're doing it to embrace yourself and express your blackness, well, then it's empowering. But if someone else does it, they're fetishizing you and dehumanizing you to a piece of sugary candy. And, you know, candy causes diabetes, and diabetes is prevalent in black people, and it's because of the systemic oppression of the... Do you know the, the whole ramble that they can just say about anything? It's just word vomit. So, I mean, this shit is unfucking real. And I had sent her a tweet. I said, "Do you really think this is racist, or you just couldn't pass on the opportunity to virtue signal?" Because that's what I think it really is. Oh, and here's a side remark: dudes can't get pregnant, and that's a dude. Sorry, that is a dude. This is what a woman looks like playing tennis. See them? And and I I know people are going to say, "Well, that's a black woman. You don't you just don't know. You can't appreciate a black woman. You're racist. You can't see she's so bad." No. The school I grew up in was 90% black. I know what a bad looking black girl looks like. And I mean bad in a good way. I, I on, on the girls I know, on fucking real, how gorgeous they are. Even the ugly ones don't look like this. People don't like tennis. They only like Serena Williams because she's beating people at a white thing. It's a fuck white people thing. She's obnoxious. I mean, like I said, fuck, what was it? Picking cotton, getting sprayed by a fire hose, having someone maybe crack a joke or maybe you didn't maybe you meant it in a romanticized way chocolate with milk mm, delicious who doesn't like milk chocolate um i've made remarks that you know i i like to uh to compare girls skin skin tones with my favorite flavors of coffee um you know little it's joke no one cares fuck <sighs> ridiculous so Wanted to point that out, and uh, if you doubt me on what I'm saying about her being a dude, plenty of videos online breaking down the body proportions. Trust your eyes rather than what you're told. This fucking, just, th let me put it to you like this. How funny would it be, and funny in an evil, you know, I hope this isn't happening to me type way, but you see this sort of tranny mania, basically, lately, um, on TV and everything like that. To these people that are so gung-ho about pushing it, and were probably a little more pro progressive, you know, a while back than they were afraid to say, what would be the g easiest way, you know, to ease it into society, or to get people ready for something before they even know they're ready for it? Predictive programming. That's what I'm basically saying. Predictive programming. Like, here's another one. I mentioned Justin Bieber. That's a chick. And when she first came out, we all knew it. Everyone would crack jokes. Oh, she's a pretty little girl. This, this, and that. I mean, even Michael Jackson. We all hear these stories about Michael Jackson. Oh, his dad was giving him hormones to fucking change his voice. Or this, this, and that. And, you know, if that was the same person when he turned white and everything like that. Those are the same hormones you give a kid to, for, like, gender reassignment. Michael Jackson might have been born a chick. Who the fuck knows? I don't know these people. We just know their art, and we know what they're put, how they're put forth and sold, how the product is sold to us. So, question things. Believe with your eyes. Check out some of the videos. People breaking down the body proportions. Very compelling cases. Men can't get pregnant, so uh, I don't think she's pregnant. I think this is some fucking Mrs. Doubtfire tricks. So, anyway, take care, everyone. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, at Jamie Star Music. Subscribe, check me out, vid me. Take care.